I'm Stuart Abernethy and this is Julian Reno from X Yachts Great Britain. Today we would like to talk about putting a reef in and this is following on from our last video on using the backstay to fully depower the boat. The reef is the next stage. So now we're able to put the actual reef in. We're going to be sailing under the jib by itself and we will totally depower the mainsail by easing the sheet and releasing the vang. We'll then drop the main halyard down to a pre-marked position and pull in the white reef line, which is reef number one. The next thing to check is to come to the forward end of the boom and make sure that the steel eye on the mast is almost touching the steel shackles on the sail. This means that the sail is unloaded and the cars below that are not going to get damaged unduly. And at the outboard end of the boom, the reef line must be tight to the boom and the actual line itself must be just aft of the eye when it's pulled tight. This pulls the sail back and pulls the sail flat for a nice flat reef. As you can see, this is a very good flat reef on the sail. And we've also deployed the lazy jacks to hold the belly of the sail and give you good visibility sailing to windward. So now we're back on the pontoon. Just to recap, don't be afraid of grinding on that reef line really tightly. That creates the nice flat sail that you're looking for and unloads the cars on the mast. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this little video useful.